Hi, this is Nelson, and welcome to the Nelson Mike Podcast. Today, I have a very special guest. I do believe for the first time in history, a Saudi agent has spoken to a Kenyan in public. I have my guest today, Mr. Jawad Malik, who has been in the industry for 30 years. He recruits women from Kenya, Uganda, and Sri Lanka. Let's hear what he has to say today. Enjoy the podcast. Hi, this is Nelson, and welcome to my Nelson Mike podcast. You will hear some of the most inspiring stories on this podcast. You will hear stories that will crash your soul, break your heart. But also, on my podcast, you will find peace, solace. And this is a place that all of your listeners can call home. Enjoy. God bless you. May you rise, shine, and prosper. Hi, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mr. Nelson. So, thanks for hosting me on your, your channel and you gave me a chance to talk about uh, the Kenyan house helpers. First of all, my name is Mr. Jawad Malik. Okay? In Saudi Arabia, I'm a representative. Okay? OSS Riyadh recruitment in Riyadh and other office Bahashan recruitment in Gizan. Okay. I'm recruiting Kenyan for Saudi And there in Kenya, I'm dealing with Maha Global and one other agency is named Global Team. All right. My dear Nelson, I have a very very huge, huge experience in recruitment. I'm doing recruitment almost eight years. Not only in Kenya, okay. I have my own office in Sri Lanka. I'm doing since 30 years. Kenya, Uganda, even Philippine, Philippine, okay. But now recently, no recently, I'm doing with the almost three country, the mostly Kenyan, Ugandan, Sri Lankans. Okay. So I contact with you when the girl escaped. Not is the first one, but it's a very strange. It's a very painful. Why? The first day, she arrived in Jeddah. From Jeddah, she had to travel for Jizan. Her name is Agatha. Okay? The office representative, P. 
pick her from the airport, give her food, take her to bus stage, buy the ticket for Jeddah to Jizan, give her food, give her even some 20 real on the way she can take something like a soda, water, whatever. But she escaped from the first day from the bus stage. And I got to know my dear. And I get to know on behalf of the way of someone. She joined there is a big group in Jiddah. Okay? Big group in Jita because the head of that group he have connection in Kenya. Okay, he is he is going to contact from maybe some training schools or someone there when they are uh, going to travel. They told, okay, no problem. You are taking 900 real salary when you run away, when you escape from the house, come to us. You can get a salary, 1,500 or whatever. But there's not only work. I don't want to say what they are going to turn. All right? Anyhow, The other thing, it's a very bad. Up to now, in my agencies, my offices in Riyadh, there is no any complaint. I could not get any complaint. The sponsor has beaten to the girl. Uh, if she have some problem, I told her, don't be jump, don't be run away. You have to go to office or everyone they have our, our Kenyan numbers they can send a message then we try to solve the problem and we try to solve why Nelson my dear we recruit from Kenya the girl is like our family like our sisters like our daughters Okay, so we take care about all the recruiter which we recruit from Kenya till two years. The salary problem, the house problem, okay, we take care about everything. All right, but sometime I will tell you story of one girl. We change five houses. Okay, we change her five house from Oasis Riyadh in last year. But she said no. All our houses are very bad. I'm the one who good, so please send me back. So we send her back. So also you know some girls some girls they don't like, okay, they came from there for work, but you know, there's a difference between Saudi and Kenya. Kenya is open country, Saudi is, you know, it's a Muslim and Arab country. But we told all, we explained all the girls, my dear, it's a new country, you should have a time, like it, one month, two week, one month, because weather changed, food changed, culture changed, everything changed. Be patient. Huh. If you feel any problem, then you come to office. Ah, call our office there in Kenya. All right.
So my dear, if you want anything else, any information, I can give you information because I am in this field in recruitment almost 30 years.